doctors experiment with new treatments and researchers try to come up with a vaccine for coronavirus patients. An emotional greeting between one of our own ABC News correspondents who donated plasma uh, of her own and the patient who she helped save. ABC's Romina Puga shares that story. With no vaccine yet available, it has been experimental treatments that have been aiding in saving the lives of COVID-19 patients. One study from the Mayo Clinic finds that transfusions of recovered patients' blood plasma into sick patients is helping. The golden plasma. Our own Kaylee Hartung donated her blood plasma after recovering from the coronavirus and was able to trace her donation to Daniel Macias. The doctors told us my dad had 20% chance of living. After recovering with the help of Kaylee's plasma, a parade of familiar faces cheering Daniel on, including Kaylee, who met Daniel face to face for the first time. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Really good. It, it was just right away, the next day, he started doing better. And three days later, three days later, we took the tube. Your breathing tube away. Oh, you you can breathe on your own. Only three days later. On top of promising treatments, there is also news of a promising vaccine. American biotech company Moderna announced that in phase one of a clinical trial, the first one involving human test subjects in the U.S., its experimental COVID-19 vaccine produced antibodies that could neutralize the novel coronavirus and so far appears to do so safely. Moderna CEO saying they could not be happier about this interim data. The company last week won the U.S. Health Agency's fast track label to speed up the regulatory review. Phase two and three of the trial are due to take place this summer. In Colorado, Romina Puga, ABC News.